Well, my brother King Promise, uh, we'll be seeing you tomorrow in Accra. We can't wait, we're going to be partying with my, are we? with my Ghana, my Ghana, Ghana brothers and sisters. We, wow, what's yeah. happening? When, when are we going? What, what are we doing next? I was speaking French, we. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. no, we. Yes, I've been Ghana. Oh, we, we. I haven't seen my ticket. I said we, I've oh. been Ghana. Oh, no problem. Nice. <laughs> All right. Can't wait for it. One Ghana for your pocket. Stick around now. 22 minutes after 10 o'clock. It's Morning Rush on the Beat 99.9 FM Thursday. Shout out to all my people in Port Harcourt, the Beat, uh, holding it down, Space Man and Sunshine. Uh, do a, they do an absolutely amazing morning show there. So we're going to be hanging out on the 25th of August. Don't forget to tune in on different shows on Thursdays. We'll give you what's happening in your city. We hook it up with Abuja, Port Harcourt, London. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, all kinds of places at Nibadon as well. So get ready for it. In the meantime, we got Superstar in the building and we're so happy being all over the world on tour and we're glad trying to find out what happened with Mary. You want to do the honors? Indeed, we have the one, the only, the Superstar, Olamide! Hello! How are you? I'm fine, good morning. Olamide, are you cold? Why are you wearing this jacket? Oh my man. I don't even know man. Yeah. <laughs> Our studio is cold don't we? Uh, I don't know. Man. I don't know. Of course we have studios. We have a lot of high tech equipment here. So okay, we have that's to keep true. It sorry, sorry, sorry. So welcome back, my man. Yeah, yes. Thanks, please. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing You've good. been touring everywhere, all over the world. Um, I try. I want to try. <laughs> yeah. Where were you uh, recently? Um, Côte d'Ivoire. Okay. And how was it there? Yeah, it was good. Because um, actually, we have um, lots of Nigerians out there. Oh, okay. um, um, they as well, they, um, they are into the whole Afrobeat sound okay. and all. Despite the fact that they, um, um, they, they are like Francophone, the so, yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, yeah. They okay. like the whole Afrobeat sound and all right. that. So. Well, I mean, apart from the Nigerians, I mean, were they understanding the, the, the vibe? Yeah, did they the, sing along? The, the Yoruba vibe along. and everything. Did you know, I actually don't have an idea, but <laughs> the vibe was great, though. Okay. Did, they, yeah. did they rap along or sing along with the lyrics? Um, yeah, yeah, they were singing along. Oh, wow, well, okay. Because, so you know, did. I know they do it myself, so no, most of the songs I'm putting out these days, they are just <laughs> singing, singing, singing. Yeah. 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 We have questions about that actually. Ah Let's man, I'm ready to answer any <laughs> question. <laughs> Good. Well, well, I'm ready, ready, ready for us today. Ready for us today. Yeah. Um. So um, I've got a question here. Okay, from at King underscore Blaze. He says, "Please, we Olamide diehard fans, we want to know if he's gonna get back to his former hardcore rap, but he's doing great as a singer though. Kudos." Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, no one is get, no no one is ready to go back to um, nursery school, innit? Life is a process. You know, going back? Life is a process. Yeah, life is a process. Um, you just have to um, <clears throat> take everything um, like one step after the other. Right. There's um, there's a, there's a phase for everything. Right now. This phase, this phase of my life is just about me making, um, what's it called, good music. It's not about um, being the best rap artist. It's not about being the best singer, or the mm. best pop artist. I just want to make music and be happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are, are you think you mellowed out? You know, has money made you mellow? Um, or is it family? You know, not really. Money, money, money has made you mellow. Or <laughs> not is it really. The family? Is it the, no, now no. that you're a family man? You got not really. Kids, I, I mean, like. Actually, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being like, um, super strong and, um, mm -hmm. being, um, in, actually, I'm just being super strong because, mm -hmm. I mean, I lost my mom and my dad in the space of two years, you know? Right. And, um, for me, that's, I, I don't, I, I don't know about I other had people, but, big, big impact on yeah, your life, but the connection I have with my parents is like, it's mm -hmm. so crazy right. and, um, we went through a lot together, but, mm -hmm. It's so unfortunate for me that I lost them at the peak of my career, you know, yeah. so like, mm -hmm. to me, that actually got to me a lot and it's been affecting me mentally. I'm just being super strong about everything because, I mean, it's not actually easy to... I know, I you, it seems that you didn't really take a break in your career, like, you continue to push even though, like... I mean, because I have happened. responsibilities to take care of, you know. But how, how challenging was that for you mentally? Didn't you just want to be like, ah, oh, I'm done? I I'm mean, like, some, some, some days I feel like, you know, just, I don't know. Yeah. Just giving up. Some days are, some days are bad, I mean. Yeah, so yeah. how do you keep going now? Is it maybe your immediate family? You have a beautiful son. <laughs> Thank you very much. Does that much. help to inspire you every day? I mean, that's, that's, that's my number one inspiration Pictures of two right you, you, you guys, I don't know if you're making some faces. I mean, <laughs> it was quite funny, He's I like that. He's so cute. He's like your twin. How old is he now? Um, Three. Three and a half. Wow, yeah. time goes so fast. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. 
All right, let's focus on the music now, because that's what people want to hear about, what's going down with that. Um, so what's the direction now for you um, in uh, 20, uh, 2018? Where, where are you going to go? Um, majorly, it's just to be genuinely happy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> make I, I, good I, I music. Yeah? Yeah, make good music. Um, support everyone around me as usual. Yeah. And um, um, this year, we're taking it back to a hotel. Right. Holic, yeah, my concert that we do yearly every December. And I thought that. Echo Hotel said they didn't want to come again because you have too much crowd. No, it's not me. It can't be me. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be me. <laughs> it cannot be I me. I heard that on every day is banned from Echo Hotel. It cannot be me. That last time it they had to be no, no, the no, concert venue no, no. was ah, destroyed. No, no, ah, no, 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 no. I'm a little good boy. I'm a little bit bigger venue. Is it? That's what they said. No, 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 no. I, I actually um took um Olik um to the to the stadium last year because um yeah. we had um lots of um what's it called the regular yeah. the regular customers. Yeah. Yeah. They've been complaining for the past three four years. And you have not brought it to them. No, no, not just that. About about um the space and all that. Right. Like uh, like the place is not always. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. No conducive enough for everybody and all that. So we had to like <coughs> take it to the mainland, to the stadium right. where we have enough space for everybody to yeah. come in and um, give them a cheaper rate, right. almost for free, you know. So so everybody could just you know come and have fun. Yeah. All right, no problem. But at, at least what, what was the reaction for that show in December? Were they happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were. They, yeah. were, they were really happy. So this time around, you're gonna be back at the court. Uh, how's that yeah. gonna go? Um, back to business, back to basic, back to doing it on a bigger scale than um, bringing something extra this time around, you know, because um, anything worth doing is worth doing well, you know, so, mm -hmm. uh, Alright, we can't wait, I'm sure it's going to be good, but isn't that going to uh, keep those guys out, you know, the, 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 the pricing of the Echo Hotel? Um, is, is but last, be... last number, but you know, you just have to, <laughs> you just have to do your team, you know, mm -hmm. you have to do your team regardless of um, I'll because you're looking at some regular, other regular ticket will be like between five and ten thousand for a quarter, right? I mean, boss man, man. For now, for, it. for now, no, no, for now, as we speak, I don't know of any other place better than a hotel to do a. All right, I reasonable show. But you're gonna control reasonable the crowd. Concert, you're gonna have, you're gonna be control of it. I when when the place when you sold out, yeah. and then you shot, you don't sell anymore. We always that do was that. Problem last we time, always right? we always do that though. But that was a problem last time, wasn't it? No. Okay. No Marshall. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, but the thing is, you said um, Echo Hotels the best, and I think in, ter in in certain terms you're right. But then don't you have this problem where everyone that's in the front on tables they don't really get up and like groove to your music. <laughs> I mean, actually, at your show they try. I actually see people move to yeah. at your show. Other people should just sit there and look like a dead fish. I know, um, it's it, it's crazy, but um, no matter how much we try to like um, be advanced and um, try to um, do the old Western thing, Western mm. culture, and all yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> we have to we have to um, keep in mind that our culture is our culture. All right. So, <laughs> got a question for you. Um, there was a, when you were on tour. What was the best place that you? I mean, when which city gave you the best? Vibe I mean, from the crowd in terms of which one did you enjoy the most? Um, from my Europe tour, yeah, Europe, uh, Europe and America. Uh, um, Europe and America. Uh, New York was mad. Mm -hmm. New York was mad, and um, 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 in Europe, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Like almost all these cities were were dope, though. Okay. They were out the chain. There was a clip of you being uh, um, accosted by a young lady. Then she came a long way, and you only you were on stage for like fifteen minutes. Or yes, was that in the US? Europe? That was in Europe. Yes. I, think. Uh, I think that was in Europe. Yeah, yes. it was yeah. Europe. Uh, the, yeah. the young, the lady was very angry with you, mm. uh, but you didn't seem to react. You didn't seem to say anything. You didn't respond. You wanted to, want to punch her. No, I didn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. didn't respond. I'm trying to be a gentleman. No, he, he, <laughs> he didn't respond. To, she was she was very angry. Yeah. Since she came, she she you know went by a train or by road mm. from one city to the other one to see you. And then you all stayed for like fifteen minutes or something like that. That's, and then she like she thought that like, she, she didn't get her money's worth. And I don't. But, but I, you didn't respond to it then. So I mean, what do you have to say about it? I mean, cause some man, she just do paparazzi level now. All those ones now, political blah. You okay. don't understand. <laughs> so are you saying you think she made it up just to trend on social media? I mean, no matter we now stand that now, cause she's a blogger, you know. Okay. Oh, she's a blogger. Uh huh. So oh, did wow. you did you spend Are you popping? She did gets you, pop did, now, did you, you know. Out <laughs> now with all the songs I have. Okay. 
with all the songs I have. Come on, so it's how, not possible. Okay, how long were you on stage for? My standard I do um, 45 minutes on stage, okay. if it's not my concert. Okay. okay. But if it's my concert, I do more than 45 minutes on stage, so... Alright, cool. When certain things happen like this, like negative publicity, I mean, what do you normally do? Because I don't, I don't always see you address it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Do you address it? <coughs> Maybe your manager addresses it. How does it work? Uh, most times, I, um, I try my best possible not to pay attention to all this negative energy and negative vibes because I mean at the end of the day man there's no amount amount of um, publicity I want to do or whatnot that that's gonna um, speak better for me than my integrity you know because mm -hmm. um, people know me people I've worked with um, all my clients and all that they know how I operate and all that mm -hmm. so that's not gonna stop me from getting my shows that's not gonna stop my fans from coming to my shows because they know me so well so there's no point in trying to, you know. I've got a few questions here. Somebody is saying that uh, your songs are the dirtiest songs on the radio. Uh, <laughs> How now? I don't know. It's, it's from, it's, it's from at Dice of Truth. He said, why have you made the dirtiest songs by any Nigerian artist? <laughs> And your songs are getting banned. Angry. They're getting banned every uh, every week. I know, man. Cause I mean, when you say dirty, it depends on um, it depends on um, <clears throat> the angle you're speaking from. Okay, sex and drugs. People mm. say that your lyrics are full of sex and drugs a lot. Um, if the, I mean, it's cool if people don't want me to address issues and all that. It's mm. cool, but if you want a real one around, then you shouldn't tell me I'm sp I'm doing dirty stuff, you know. Because I mean, everything I'm talking about is not as if I'm saying do this. I'm saying I'm. Talking, I'm talking about what's happening out there, and I'm letting people know. Like you, you guys need to pay attention to all these things. If, yeah. they, if care is not taken, man, we're just gonna lose the next generation to some. You know, mm. I mean. Let's look at um, science student. Um, the, that, that one. That uh, sorry, the one where you're um, talking about. Was that the one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, science yeah. students, yeah, of course. Uh -huh, sorry. Um, and I think that did get banned, didn't it? Yeah. On radio. Mm -hmm. Did it? Yeah. Oh, for real? You're never keeping up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but then at least I know they had issues with the um, mm. with the video because of um display of um yeah so of, uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah yeah exactly yeah. But then I think one interesting thing was with songs like that it causes like it, it starts a conversation. So I remember there's been documentaries on it. There's been more research research on it. People have gone out to these places mm -hmm. around you know Lagos, Nigeria. Um, so do you see it more as your music is like social commentary like as you said before you're trying to get people to open their eyes and see what's going on mm -hmm. Or some people would just say just making party music like do you really care? I mean, stand or is it both? I mean, I mean standard like there's there are so so many uh, Okay, now let me break it down for you um, before I started the old shaku shaku vibe and all that mm -hmm. I went to the mainland mm -hmm. to see my my, my, my goons in the hood, mm -hmm. you know, I spent time with them um, we went to the club. So you still do that? Uh, of course. <laughs> okay. We went to the club. I listened to to songs in the club, and I heard um, the new sounds and all that mm -hmm. coming up. And I'm like, yo, these sounds are mad, you know. But you know what? People actually don't know about this in the mm -hmm. uh, mainstream market, and all, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, <clears throat> after that, I started doing my more research on the sound. Mm -hmm. Then I discovered that most of all these songs, you know, they are dope. They are like very good. The sound is. Crazy, the bounce, the rhythm, and everything, but the lyrics are always. We yeah, are what they're saying, a bit, a bit raw. It's always about yeah. all those drugs, da 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 da. So I felt like, okay, you know what? Um, I have people in the hood, I have family, I have friends, I have relations and all that in the hood. So I thought about um, picking up that sound, taking it to the mainstream market, and um, at the same time, Try to pass a message across to the to mm -hmm. the guys doing that sound mm -hmm. to let them know that yo guys, you guys can actually do the right. sound mm -hmm. in a very good way without mm -hmm. you get me. So um, yeah. that's the major reason why I did science student. And mm -hmm. I was actually emphasizing on ah Kadija she was my whole coin. It was my team on the Harvard. Like Kadija, is that you? I thought your mom sent you to Harvard mm -hmm. University. Mm -hmm. How come you you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how come you doing all this stuff? Mm -hmm. You know, like that's just it's just basically about trying to let people understand. Yeah. that see. People are actually doing so many crazy things out here, and um, most parents, if you don't even tell them, they don't know what their kids are mixing up together. You know, they just see them with red cups and all mm -hmm. that, like a lot of them. You think, oh, they're drinking, and -na, na -na -na -na. no, mm -hmm. they're mixing something else. <laughs> do you, because you're so big now, do you feel like you have this responsibility on your shoulders? You I mean, like I'm a father, so I have to. Do talk about these things. Okay. 
I'm a father, I have to, I have All no right. choice. Somebody was saying they wanted more songs like Mello Mello. I mean, yeah. someone, someone said that, yeah. that they want you to be... Uh, what um, was the, uh, at, it's from King underscore Blaze again. He says, we know you to be very, very, very versatile. Yeah. Inspirational songs like Mello Mello sometime soon comes, I think. We want that Melo Melo vibe, I beg. Oh, Melo Melo vibe. There can never be another Melo Melo anyways. Mm. Just like there can never be another Olam, um, um, Ele Dami. There can mm. never be another any Duro. There can never be an, another Duro Soke. All I can do is just try my best possible to um, improve better, better. on my... Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your favorite Olam this song? Um, actually, so far, I'll say Melo Melo. Melo Melo, your favorite really? song. Yeah. Why? First up. Um, Because I think that's like... It's very classy and timeless at the same time. Okay. And still in the genius at the same time, you know. So Okay. Yeah. All right. Um we have another question from at Mr underscore Dennis. Um we don't hear of any baby mama stunts when it comes to Olamide. The guy is super street white. That's a statement, not a question. Uh, okay. What do you have to say to that? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, fans. Okay. It sounds like a politician. <laughs> no, I know, right? Speaking of politics, uh, let me say, um, um, we, I think, we, did we speak about it some time ago when the last time you were here? But a lot of um, people were angry at one point with the musicians, mm. saying they're not, they're not saying enough uh, about corrupt politicians and corrupt uh, uh, government officials around the country. Mm. And that uh, uh, musicians are very happy to collect the money. You know, and to mingle and to hang out with politicians, but they're not doing enough uh, to to. Uh, you can't be street uh, hanging out with people in the street who are suffering, and then you're going and mingling with politicians and collecting the money. So, do you do you feel that you should uh, you should say something? You should be talking about it more. Oh man, standard man. If you're following me on Twitter, you see that. I was man. gonna say you tweet like, about like things. standard, like on yeah. steady. Mm -hmm. I'm always talking about. It. Yeah. Do you talk to when you see a governor or senator? That they're inviting you to come. I mean, trust me. And if you, perform if you, at your daughter's wedding. If you know, uh, if you do know, you talk to them about that when you're collecting <coughs> the check. I mean, if you know anyone mm -hmm. that is like um, into politics that you know that I'm kind of close to. Right. Whenever you see them, ask them if I don't talk about all these things. Okay. If I don't talk about the economy, the people, the you know, the growth of the economy and all that, mm -hmm. the growth of the company, ask them. Okay, so you do say that all the time. All right, nice one. Well, I'll keep it up. Okay. We're going to look um, forward to it. Yep. Yes, I was going to say. Um, so, going back to what the gentleman just said now about your baby mama, I noticed that you don't really speak about your personal life, and your personal life is not really something that it's like it's not all in the streets. You, you don't know about it. Like, do you have to work extra hard to keep stuff to yourself? Because there's some artists with their businesses everywhere. But it's not the same. Like who, who, who are these people? You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Wizzy and David, Wizzy and David. Okay. But that's not the same with you. So how do you... Um, Balance it out. Yeah. I mean, um, it's all about knowing what... It's all about knowing what um, you want to do, what you're here for and all that. Mm -hmm. I'm here to grind. I'm here to make people happy. I'm here to make music. I'm here to have fun, I'm here to do my thing, you know, so it's not, it's not about my family, it's about me, it's about me and the people, you know, so, um, and whatever is supposed to be personal, it's meant to be personal, so, okay. I like no that, I like that, I like that. So, one more question, so, I mean, so are you saying that, like, you don't get tempted, so, I mean, I'm just imagining, you have, like, millions of followers on Instagram, so maybe, like, on a normal day, you just, like, open your DMs, you know, like, girls send you, like, I mean, nude pictures. It's not about being tempted, it's about what you want at the end of the day, if, I feel like doing it, I'll do it. If I don't feel like, if I'm not doing it, then obviously I don't feel like doing it. Okay, yeah. true. Are we going to see an album this year? Nay. Nee. Okay, but some more tracks? I don't yes, believe sir. you, you can't help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> in December, we just say new album. You've you got you, you to gotta have some new tracks for, this, for the concert in December. Of course. Uh -huh. We're putting out um, lots of singles out before the year runs out. So. Any collaborations? Any? any? Um, for now, probably something from myself and Techno World. Okay. Oh, okay, that sounds good. Sounds you guys haven't done anything together before? At all. Oh, that should be good. We look forward to that. We look forward to that. What Any, about this, uh, the, the, the way Afro pop or Afro beats, everyone is calling it these days, the way it's been exported out. I mean, just recently, you know, Ciara featured techno, we had like Skepta and Wizkid, all these different things going on. Mm. Um, what's your take on it? Is that something you're trying to do or it's just if it happens, it happens? Like, what, what's your I take? Mean, at the end of the day, man, all you can do is just put in that work and um, um, it's left it's left for the people um, out there to discover what and what is what and um, 
for um, your sound to travel because I mean there's no point in doing go, going the extra miles if um, <clears throat> At the end of the day, there's nothing I'm gonna bring back home, you know. All right. Because, because like like we all know, we all know, we all know. <laughs> there's nothing to bring back home. All right. Let's wrap it up. Wrap it up, my man. I want to say thanks for coming through. Uh, so, any um, radio stations, mm. all the DJs, all the OAPs, and mm. um, all the TV stations for blessing Kana, and you know, it was on the top ten charts for like a very long while without me going to the radio, doing mm. promo and all that, because I was really like. <laughs> on the road doing shows and all. I really appreciate you guys. God bless you all. all right. Any messages for your haters? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully you send us some uh, some tickets to give away to listeners uh, uh, in time for December. Definitely. You know those who can, those of us who can't afford it. You know what I'm saying? So we can uh, we can we can share the joy. Thanks for having me. A cool hotel, ten thousand naira regular. Oh shit! You see me on the, I'll be in the, the in the popular side. <laughs> 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 in the building all right tell us about this new song man um this new song was produced by um killer tunes mm -hmm. aka shabalistica mm -hmm. <laughs> um dj spinal actually linked us up and um i mean shout out to dj spinal for linking us up shout out to killer tunes for the mad beats as well mm -hmm. uh music by now is um about um me being ha on fire mm. so what does it mean that you've caught fire? I mean, you see how they hot now. You know, now. I know they hot. As they seem like this, I know hot. I know like this, they want me. They're just looking. I'm just amazed. I'm so tired. 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 I'm so tired